We got some new gameplay and details of the new sub weapon that was revealed in the release date trailer we got around about three weeks ago. It was the Turf War gameplay that did reveal quite a lot of new things and there was a sub weapon hidden in that Turf War gameplay. And yeah, if you are new to the channel, make sure you are hitting that subscribe button to stay up to date with all of the latest Splatoon 3 news. You can follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button as well. So yeah, pretty much this new sub weapon is called the Angle Shooter. I prefer the Japanese translation. It was just simply called Line Marker. But this new sub weapon shoots a straight line into the distance that bounces of surfaces and enemies who touch the line are not only marked but they also take damage as well so it helps you pin enemies down to splat them with your main weapon so this does seem like a big upgrade to the point sensor now correct me if I'm wrong I can't remember if the point sensor did bounce off surfaces it definitely didn't damage the enemy so yeah, I'm not sure what to make of this sub weapon. I'm hoping that there is going to be a gear ability, like a ninja gear ability, that does sort of take you away from this new angle shooter sub weapon that makes you not appear with this new sub weapon because this does seem really powerful. I think it might be a little bit too powerful how it can bounce off surfaces. The gameplay, it seemed like. You can bounce it off as many surfaces as you like and if you touch that line it's going to be really hard to avoid that line then yeah that is just going to be really really hard to avoid i'm just thinking of the corridor like in walleye warehouse if that did come back they could bounce it off all of those walls so like if you're hiding in the ground or on the wall then you'll just get spotted easily with this new angle shooter sub weapon so yeah this does seem really really powerful this is going to be a sort of skill gap sort of merger where so like if you are like a lower skilled sort of player this sub weapon will help you out a lot so say like if someone is hiding around the corner like i always do i hide up on walls and wait for people to come to me then yeah this sub weapon will definitely sort of stop my sort of strategy where I do hide on the walls, jump down there's to come past me and splat them and you know catch them off guard. So yeah this sort of weapon is really really powerful and just one more thing I want to talk about in this video we did get confirmation that the Tentakeg gear brand will be coming back to Splatoon 3, one of my favourites from the previous two series. I love the gear that they produce. As well, of course, the Tender Keck Splatter Shot was one of my go-to weapons in both games and I probably will use the same sort of weapon in Splatoon 3 if the Tender Keck Splatter Shot will return. We did get confirmation that the base weapons will return, so the base Splatter Shot from the previous two games will be in Splatoon 3. Maybe the Tentakek Splatter Shot will return as well. But is the Angle Marker or the Angle Shooter? Probably said Angle Marker quite a lot of times. But yeah, the new sword weapon is called the Angle Shooter. Is it overpowered? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And yeah, we'll see you in another Splatoon 3 news video soon.